Well, cheers, and how you do, buckaroos, and how the heck are you? Oh, mercy, it's been a long work week, y'all, so I thought I'd do a video. I did live videos for these last week, but I thought I'd sit down and do a more detailed, in-depth video, as it were. Uh, reading a little bit from the Boulevard website about this particular beer, the Spicy Rye, featuring all malt bill composed of 20% rye malt, accented with amber and caramel malts, Tasting Room Spicy Rye Ale marries the spicy fruitiness of malted rye, juicy hops, and subtle touch of heat contributed by crushed pink peppercorns. Okay, well that I wondered, because I did it off the cuff. We didn't have my internet working, so I couldn't really research it. I knew there was something else besides rye, but I wasn't sure what else was going on. Pink peppercorns, that's interesting. Added at the end of the boil, uh, Azaka, Nelson Savine, Mosaic, and Amarillo hops. Lead in the aroma suggesting notes of grapefruit, white grape, and pineapple. Yeah, actually, yeah, I did notice the white grape. Uh, grounded by a small percentage of Cara Cara 300 to provide body and sweetness. Tasting room with spicy rye ale finishes with lingering hot flavor. I'll show you that beer, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Crispy, spicy finish, yes, it does. Spicy rye is 5340 IBUs. Okay. Zaka Nelson Savine Mosaic and Amarillo and Pink Peppercorns. <laughs> they tell you aromas uh, aromas of grapefruit, white grape, and pineapple. Yeah, yeah, you're going to get those things, sure. Um, I was also noticing the malt notes. You get a hint of malt sweetness and a slight spice. I didn't realize at the time it was the Pink Peppercorn, but yeah, you're going to get a bit of that rye and that peppercorn going on as well. Oh goodness, one of my favorite songs of all time just came out. Uh, of course, if you can hear it, I don't own any rights to it. I hurt myself the other day, I'm not sure what I did. I'm trying to twist around to find a remote. Turn it up a notch. My wife isn't home, so I cranked up the Full Metal Jacket channel, and right now they're playing a classic. Uh, you, know, you know, we called this metal back in the day. It probably wouldn't be considered metal now. Uh, but uh, Stargazer from Rainbow, back, you know, back in the Dio days, back, you know, before Richie Blackmore became a minstrel. <laughs> I was, uh, this was my favorite Rainbow tune, it really was. I loved this song, Stargazer. I loved everything about it. Uh, part of it was because uh, I was a wannabe keyboard player back in the day, and I just loved the keyboards on this particular tune. I have, uh, well, actually, I still have. Uh, I have a, an old RMI electric piano. Uh, which has been a storage for a lot of years. I'm hoping I can get it out soon. I don't know if I can, my, my arthritis has gotten so bad, I don't know if I can play much at all anymore. But I really want to get it out because I have that classic RMI electric piano, and then I also have another classic, an ARP string ensemble. Now, unless you're a keyboard player, those names probably don't mean anything to you, but if you're a keyboard player somewhere between 50 and 70, you know those names. Oh, I just love this too, I know. Go back to the beer. Focus on the beer, Tom. 5340. Oh, I love this tune. It's just brilliant. I mean, uh, Dio was brilliant. So flavors, yeah, again, you get that nice rye malt in there. You're also feeling those those hops. I mean, the Azaka, the Nelson Savine, the Mosaic, in particular, the Amarillo, providing some citrus. It's just a, a, a very interesting complex yet balanced beer. And I am a fan of the rye, rye ale. This doesn't call itself a rye pale, although statistically it would certainly fall in line with a rye APA. Especially with the hop blend they've got going, it certainly is in line with other rye pale ales out there. I wouldn't go so far as to call it a rye IPA, but it certainly fits as a rye APA in my opinion. Which is how I like to see you market it below. <laughs> I know you've got a little paragraph here. Tasting Room Extra Pale and Tasting Room Spicy Rye will be available exclusively on our sample 12 pack. And on draft in, in the beer hall and our tours and rec center, a few cakes might make it out, blah, 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 blah. But if you guys are smart, you would. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's usually one beer in every one of those mixed packs. I thought, oh, that's outstanding. But both the Extra Pale. 
and this spicy rye, in my opinion, both these beers are just phenomenal, man. They really should be put in six packs. Call it a, call it a spicy rye pale ale. Call it whatever you want. Call it a spicy rye APA. I don't care what you call it. Just let me buy it. <laughs> And that extra pill, I gotta tell you, both beers are just absolutely phenomenal. I would love to see both of those in six packs. The extra pill I love to see in cans just because of the nature of the beer. This one I'm, I'm fine with the six pack bottles, I really am. <laughs> but, but I'd like to see it as regular offerings, man, they're brilliant. Yeah, the nose is nice, I mean, you do feel the, the, the suggestions that they tell you here. And you may get some other things as well. I mean, I'm personally getting some tangerine they don't mention. That pink peppercorn is very noticeable right at the very end of this beer. Now, I noticed I didn't know what was in it, but I was getting some a lingering spiciness that didn't feel like rye when I did a live video, but I wasn't sure what it was. And now they said pink peppercorn. Well, that just makes some sense. Because they called it a spicy rye, but I wasn't feeling pepper notes, you know what I mean? Or, you know, I wasn't feeling, you know, a jalapeno or, you know, that, that kind of pepper notes. But, but now that I know it's pink peppercorn, it makes perfect sense. So there you go. Oh, I love this song. Uh, wow, Stargaze. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but... But if you're too young to know, uh, get up on your YouTube, man. <laughs> love Rainbow Stargazer. If you don't think that's a brilliant sound, I don't even want to know you anymore. I don't want anything to do with it. Don't talk to me. Don't message me. Un unsubscribe. Unfollow me now. <laughs> Unfriend me. Do whatever you got to do. Because I don't even want to know you if you can listen to this song and not see the brilliance of it. I mean, uh, everything. Uh, musically, it's genius. But it's lyrically, is intense. You've got Ronnie James Yo's powerful voice. You've got the underrated, understated, yet brilliant guitar of... Uh, Richard Blackmore, uh, the keyboards, I mean, everything about this song is nothing short of brilliant. So there. <laughs> That's how I feel. I have strong musical opinions, man. I really do. <laughs> just, just like beer, I man, I have very strong musical opinions. Uh, Rainbow, up until Ron and James Dio left, was a great band. They, they became something else after. Uh, they still had a couple of these songs, but, but to be honest with you, after the, when the Dio era ended with Rainbow, they became more of a power pot band. But these, I mean, the, the power of this song is just amazing. Right now, the, the part of the song is the part that just makes my, gives me goosebumps. Anyways, uh, I digress. I, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm tempted to start singing, but hey, man. So there you go. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to be a whisperer. If you can find us Boulevard Mix Pack, I got to tell you, man, it comes with their classic uh, wheat, uh, which is basically an American wheat. It also has, again, their classic single wine. Um, not a single white IPA, not an IPA style that's uh, trendy right now, but it is very solid, very drinkable beer. And, but the, these, these two tasting room beers really are something special. The extra pale and the spicy rye are worth going out of your way to find. And this was less than $15 a 12 pack. By craft beer standards, that is a bargain. So there you go. Oh, this song just, I mean, it gives me chills, man. I just feel it straight to my bones, right? Right through my soul, I feel the music. Anyways, I am Tom the Beer Whisperer. Prolific Beer Drinker. Beer Evangelist. Purveyor of Wisdom. Have my moments. <laughs> the song's in. <laughs> and I'll rock a guy. Oh, baby, that's good. <laughs>